In this screencast I'm going to show how we can use uh, PowerPoint in order to draw uh, a two-scale uh, diagram of uh, a sports pitch. In this case I'm going to use the example of a netball court and I've chosen that because it's got circular lines such as the semicircle for the shooting area and then the centre circle uh, which is shown here. In the earlier screencast we did a badminton court which looked like this which is all done with straight lines and rectangles and this time we've got uh, a few extra complications. So. I'm going to create a new slide and as before I'm going to make sure that my layout is blank so I've got a blank screen to work with and the first thing we need to do is we need to find the dimensions of the, bam uh, the netball court which if I go onto the internet there's various sites that will give me that information and the key is to have that information in metric so have it in metres and not feet and inches. Now I've found out that the netball court is 30.5 metres long and 15.25 metres uh, wide so I'm going to choose a rectangle and I'm going to draw it on my screen like that and then I'm going to go to the format tab and I'm going to put the actual sizes into this box here and I'm going to use the same scale as I used before which is one centimeter to one meter so I want the uh, width of it to be 15.25 and the length of it to be 30.5 now this has actually gone bigger than my white area of my slide. That doesn't matter because at the end we're going to shrink the whole thing down but if we work to that scale it just makes the maths a lot easier for what we want to do. Now in this case I'm going to uh, format the shape first of all so I'm going to go to shape fill and no fill and then shape outline and weight and I'm going to change it to, I'm going to choose four and a half, it doesn't really matter what you choose but I'm going to go for four and a half. So there's uh, my outline uh, created there. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add two lines that would divide the court into three. Now this is uh, actually a little bit tricky. Uh, there is an easy way of doing it. Um, I'm going to start off by uh, drawing a single line roughly on my left hand edge. So I'm just going to come down here and I'm going to draw a line and for the moment I'm just going to make that line red so it's a bit easier to see and I'm going to change the weight to four and a half so it's the same. Yeah? Now, um, I'm going to change the width of the uh, line to 15.25 and I'm going to make sure that this one says zero, that means it's dead straight and it's not got a slight angle. Okay, So it means it's now the same size as the court and if I select that line I'm going to copy it, uh, so Control c for copy and then I'm going to paste it three times, so I've got a total of four lines. Now the reason why we've got four lines when we only need two is we're going to position two of them on the edges of the court, two roughly in the middle and this one on this edge here. So um, I'm going to line that left hand red line with the blue court by doing a line left. I'm then going to select the blue court and the right hand line and I'm going to align right and then here's the clever thing I'm going to click on the red lines, all four of them and I'm going to use the tool that says distribute horizontally now what this is going to do is it's going to evenly space those lines, those four lines between the left hand and the right hand lines that I've identified so it's moved those two red lines and what that's effectively done is actually uh, break my court down into the three equally sized sections okay it's the only way that I can do that easily uh, without having to try and work out the maths of the positioning so it might seem like a, uh, an unnecessary way of doing it but by drawing four lines and then equally distributing them using the uh, distribute horizontally tool is actually the easiest way of doing it now once I've done that distribution I can actually delete these right hand two lines yeah so I've only got those middle two and now I'm just going to click on the box I'm then going to select my two lines at the same time so my fingers on the shift key which allows me to select multiple lines format and then a line top will just put it so it all lines up together what I can now do is single click on my box if I go to the home ribbon and format painter I can then click and it will apply the same formatting so it will change the colour and the thickness if I haven't already done it so it's the same again format painter and I can apply it to that one 